What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another one of these 2223 Balmy University Chrome Breaks sold out. This is a four box break, random letter, first letter, first name, number 54. Now, again, guys, Nathan actually bought all the spots out, so it's going to be a personal. And we're hoping to pull a Scoot Redemption or Webin Yama. Haven't seen one of those two or a Caitlin Clark auto, so usually, on most cases, there is usually at least one of those guys, but. Haven't seen one yet, so we'll find out if it's here or not.
Um, the whole limiting who gets to buy and break, yeah, I mean, I was told that uh, that only applies to certain shops and certain potential breakers, but more shops. They're just kind of weeding out those shops that literally just have had the direct account for years, even before Fanatics bought them, and they buy direct on the low, and then just literally resell it to breakers, and never really actually sell much of it on their in their retail store type of deal. And I think they want to kind of weed out some of those because again, they'll never be able to control every person buying their stuff because they might get it from a shop, they might get it online, they might get it somewhere. But they're going to dictate who they want to sell direct to. So, in that little memo that people got, it was only certain shops and certain people. Others are kind of excluded from that. I know there's a lot of people asking, oh, are, are you guys going to stop doing that? But I, we're fine. Um, and stuff like that. But I don't think they entirely want to get rid of breaking. But this is the one thing people were wondering what Fanatics will do. And is they're going to weed out the certain shops and breakers they don't want to potentially have business with. Or like I said, they want to get rid of the middleman. I mean, just like last year when they got rid of DTS. Why, why have a distributor? Why have a middleman? Where they make all the money in the middle when you can sell it direct. So again, it just comes down to them knowing who they want to sell to. And that's pretty much it. Now, again, they'll never be able to stop it. I mean, someone can come into our shop as a random person, let's just say, for instance, right? Not saying this is real. It's hypothetical. Pretend they're just a customer and buy boxes and cases from us, not knowing that they're actually a, re a breaker, too, you know? And like I said, you know, there's ways to get around it, but it's just going to weed out a lot of those smaller time breakers that were using their local card shop to buy their products from. Because if they got that little memo... They won't be able to, you know, sell their stuff from Tops anymore. And uh, sucks, but I mean, like I said, this is the change that people were kind of wondering what was going to happen. But, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot more is coming, so we'll see how it goes. But this will weed out a lot of the smaller smaller breakers. It's going to kind of suck, but that's just, like I said, that was the kind of thing people were wondering what Tops and Fanatics were going to do about everything. And there's going to be more changes, too. Tyrese Hunter. They don't want to entirely get rid of breaking. I mean, obviously, they're they're creating a new breaking uh, platform that's coming out later this year. But I just think they want to dictate who they want to sell their stuff direct to. And again, they'll be taking applications, too, right? If you want to become a direct... Ooh, nice Brandon Miller. If you want to uh, become a direct, you know, account, I'm sure you can apply for it. But you're probably going to have to go through obstacles and see if you're if you're approved. All right, Brandon Miller. That's a nice one. That's the number two overall pick. That potentially could be the biggest hit of the case. I don't know how much Brandon Millers are going for, but obviously he is the number two overall pick. And a big kahuna, Amari Bailey. Nice. 73 out of 150. He was also drafted. He was drafted in the second round out of UCLA. Their first round pick was Haquez. Nebhart. Yeah, I mean, Michael Rubin is a smart dude. Wow, there you go. Wemby. Short print. He's a smart dude. He knew what he was doing. He has a vision for it and, you know, knows that this space could grow with a little change, and that's what they're doing. Nice Wemby variation. So there you go, man. So you got a Brandon Miller and a Wemby short print, which I think the last time I checked, these still go for like three, 400 bucks, right? Alright. 
And then Hansel Emmanuel. I wonder if this kid actually sells really well. Obviously, he's like a talented basketball player, obviously, with how he plays. And obviously, he a sensation, too, obviously. Hopefully, this kid gets a, has, to, has, a, has a chance to, to make it as far as he, as far as he can. But uh, 97 out of 99, I wonder how much he actually sells for. That's a nice green, though. Kenneth, uh, Kyle Lofton. <laughs> that could be a thing. I don't think so though. I think they'll allow people to 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 break on multiple platforms. Um, but I think they would obviously love it if you became a fanatics exclusive. But uh, I was I was told that I don't think that was the case. I think the way they're the way they're producing their their app is gonna be where you can actually multi multi stream. So kind of like the way we do it already with with Twitch and and. And YouTube, I think, think you'll be able to do that with Fanatics Live. But I think Fanatics is gonna kill it with that app, man. It's gonna kill whatnot. It's gonna kill all these other breaking operation or all these breaking platforms. I kind of seen a little bit of how it's gonna look like, what it's gonna do, and it's it's gonna be pretty cool, actually, really, really cool. So. It's gonna change the game for sure. They've invested a lot of money into that. Nice, another Brandon Miller. Well, my thing is like, why wouldn't you wanna be on Fanatics? <laughs> it's gonna be a legit app, you know? I mean, this is going to be like the first app application where like it's actually owned by a big card company, a big brand like Fanatics. So I feel like if people didn't like whatnot because of, of what they've heard about it and stuff like that, well, I think people are going to be more inclined to download this app because it's actually going to be affiliated with Fanatics. Trey White, 13 out of 50. Man, the one couple times I've been on whatnot, I've bought on whatnot with certain breakers. Honestly, I bought more Pokemon than anything. But I, the one thing about whatnot is, I don't know if it's still like that, but man, it drains your battery, bro, like bad. Really drains it. And if you like close the app, it's one of those apps where like it'll continue to play in the background unless you fully, fully close it, force close it. Um. But I mean, like I said, I think whatnot obviously paved the way for something like this to happen. So I mean, obviously, creating an app like whatnot was big time. But obviously, the bigger fish is coming into the the ocean, and and uh, taking all, all all the little fish out now. A lot of Brandon Miller. Nice Bozolas. Man, this has actually been a pretty good case, man. Even though we might not get a Wemby redemption. This has been a solid case. You got a couple Brandon Millers. We got the uh, Hansel. That Bozolas. Bozolas actually sells really well, too. He's like projected like lottery pick next year, I think.
Jared Bynum. And Rasir Bolton. Well, lots have changed since Mike has actually worked there. But yeah, I mean, obviously we have good relations. I mean, obviously Mike has been around for so long. Everybody knows him. But, uh, I mean, I think, I think for the most part, I think we're a solid breaking company. <laughs> it's like, uh, we're a little different too. We're, we're not... We're not the crazy guys to take off our shirts and yell like crazy, so I think it's a good change too. <laughs> it's good to have multiple different types of breakers on a on a, on a future like platform if that was the case, right? And I think for the most part we're pretty well respected, so I think for that for those reasons, obviously, we should be in in good stands. All right, so here we go. There you go, man. So again, no Wemby Redemption or anything like that, but this was actually a pretty solid box. You got the Bazillus. Like I said, you did get a Trey White Gold. You got a couple Brandon Miller autographs, both refractors too. Then you got a M Emmanuel Green, a Wemby Short Print, and a Kahuna Bailey. So pretty solid there, man. So thank you, Nathan. Again, guys, that is officially it. No more Bowman Chrome. For the time being, at least, we went through so many cases between this Instagram and in the store. So, not sure when we'll have this back, but I appreciate all the all the orders we've gotten for this and and uh, pulled some massive hits with you guys. So, appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.